Good morning. It's Sunday, November 7th, and it's good to be with you today. I know November is a month that's a favorite for many people. The cooler temperatures are back, nature's beauty is on full display, and it's certainly a month for being thankful and counting our blessings. I know many people enjoy in November posting on social media about things they are thankful for. And it's so special to read these and it reminds me to count my blessings and to be thankful. This made me think about something we discussed in my Sunday school class recently. We were talking about the scripture in Matthew that tells us not to lay up earthly treasures. Each person was asked to name something that they treasured. We decided that we wouldn't say family, friends, church, because everyone could say that. Some of the things that were named were TVs, AirPods, garages, and I said my ice machine. Silly, I know, but I really love crushed ice. What about you? What are some things that you might name as treasures? Things that make you happy. Things that you would count as blessings. I know Christmas is coming in less than two months. Maybe there's something you're asking for that you think will really make you happy. Maybe a phone or an iPad or a video game or a doll, or a bike. I bet you've got a list started. Now let's think about some of those things that have been named as treasured. Have you ever thought that most of them are temporary? My ice machine has broken and had to be replaced, and now I worry a lot that it will happen again. Think about some of the toys and gifts that you've thought would make you so happy and you received them for birthdays or Christmases in the past when you were young. I bet many of those might be broken or lost or worn out or you've outgrown them or gotten tired of them. They don't make you happy now. Let's think about the word blessed. We often think that it means happy, lucky, special, having a lot of wonderful things in your life. In today's scripture in Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 through 12, Jesus tells us what truly blessed means. These verses are part of what is considered Jesus' most important sermon, the Sermon on the Mount. And the verses we talk about today are called the Beatitudes. I'm going to read them to you. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For the same way they were persecuted the prophets who were before you. Now you might be thinking, what? Blessed are those who mourn. And mourn, of course, means being sad about something particularly about someone that you have loved and who has passed away. That doesn't sound like being blessed. Blessed are those who are persecuted and insulted. That doesn't seem like a way to be happy. But Jesus is telling us that to be truly blessed means to know his love 
and to know that it will never leave us. Think about people who have been through storms, hurricanes, fires, floods, and they've lost all their possessions. Of course they're sad, but when you listen to them, most of them will say that they are still blessed because they can still feel the presence of God and they still know that they are loved by Him. They see it in the people around them who help them and take care of them. Being blessed doesn't mean having an ice machine or an iPad or a bike. Being blessed means knowing that you have a relationship with Jesus and with His people and knowing that it will never go away, that it will never fade, that we will never grow tired of it. And today, as our church celebrates All Saints Day, and we take the opportunity to mourn and to remember those that we love who have passed away over the last year, we can rejoice and feel blessed by the memories we have of them and by knowing that the love we shared in our relationships with them will never go away and that we can continue to share that love and those relationships with others. Let's pray. Dear God, things don't bless us. You do. Thank you for your love and for the opportunity to have a relationship with you and with your people. Help us to share that love and those relationships with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for being with us today. Hope you have a great week. Remember to be blessed by the love of God and by his people and to share that blessing with others every day. I love you, Surfside Methodist loves you, and God loves you. Bye-bye.